Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're going to be looking at the encode URI component function on Power Automate. So, if you're already here and looking for how to use the encode URI component function, you probably know why. But, for those of you that are just interested, let's take a look at this variable of URL. It just looks like your generic URL that you would put into your browser. But how do we make this safe using URL safe characters? Well, URL safe characters such as the colon is percent free A. So we would replace the colon with the percent free A. We would replace the forward slashes with percent to F. So obviously there's two. So at this point we'll have HTTPS percent free A percent two F percent two F www.flojo.io percent two F slash is replaced at that particular point. And then we have example and then we have space page. Now space is obviously not a safe character. So for a space, we would have percent 20. So in the end, we want to effectively achieve this. We have HTTPS percent 3A percent 2F percent 2F www.flowjo.io percent 2F again, replacing that um, slash example percent 20 replacing the space page. So then we have a URL safe character URL. Okay, so how do we achieve this then? Well, let's take our variable of our generic URL and then we'll pass it into our encode URI component. And what this then will do is it will encode it and it will replace those characters with the URL safe characters and we'll have our encoded URL back to us and we'll get the URL that we've just seen. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on our flow. We've got our manual trigger to kick it off. We're then setting a variable called decoded URI. Now what we're doing in this variable is we're just passing our generic um, URL, which has the spaces, the slashes, etc. Now we will obviously want to replace that um, with an encoded and generic URL safe character replacement. So we're going to pass this into the encoded URI component. See there, we've just got our variable being passed in. And then if we kick this off and see what we get back in return, those characters should effectively be replaced and we should have a URL safe URL returned to us. And as you can see there, we've got our encoded URL back. And that is how you use encode URI component on Power Automate. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.